Okay, here is the first stage of uh, low speed CAN bus um, circuit. Uh, what I did was take the MCP2515 microchip demo boards. You have two of them here. The one on the left is acting as a transmitter. The one on the right is the receiver. Together these are approximately $55 for both of these. Um, note that these come as high speed CAN transceivers and that's the point of this demonstration here is to convert these to low speed CAN transceivers. The nice thing is the protocol remains the same so all you have to do is really change the transceiver to be compatible with the physical layer of the low speed CAN bus. The modification you need to make on this board is remove the chip that's right here that's the high speed transceiver if you don't remove it, you're going to have a conflict because both transceivers are going to be sending data to the microcontroller. These here are the low speed transceivers. And just these two lines right here right now are acting as the CAN bus. Okay, so we can come over here to the laptop and you can see if you monitor, this is monitoring the output on the transmitter and the input on the receiver right before it gets to the microcontroller. And we can see that the uh, output is identical to the input and 12 microsecond bit time. 83.3 kilohertz, which is the speed on the particular bus I'd like to monitor. And you can see here that the messages are coming through. I'll clear this, and there you can see they're coming in. And this is operating just as it does on the high speed version. Now to get this speed you also need to program your uh, microchip PIC18 chip for this particular speed since it's not included with the high speed package.